Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Sneaker Firm. Today I got another set of review for you guys. Um, this particular pair of sneakers is from a brand that I haven't purchased from in quite some time. Actually, I think it's been almost more since it... Actually, I think it's been more than a decade since I've actually purchased something from this brand. Um, I can't even think of the last model or particular sneaker that I even purchased from them. Um, so I was glad that I was able to grab this pair. I've been eyeing this pair for quite some time now. Um, but I knew I could probably get it on sale and I actually didn't even end up paying for it um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but just an overall great shoe that I was interested in buying um, and so once I got the opportunity to do so, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And yeah, let me just go ahead and show you the shoe. And so that shoe is the Puma Future Rider. Um, now this is the gray and fizzle orange colorway. Um, now I'm pretty sure these released this year, earlier this year, if not later part of last year. Um, and the original colorway that came out was the one that was black with the green, the blue, and the red. Um, and there are a few more color, and then there were a few more colorways that dropped after that. I believe this one being one of them. Um, and this one really caught my eye. I really love that orange um, on the toe box, um, as well with the gray and the blue. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, these are real nice, and retail for these was 80 bucks, uh, which you can't beat nowadays with the sneaker market the way that it is. Um, a lot of expensive shoes out there, and for this one to be under $100, you definitely can't go wrong with it. Um, definitely a real nice shoe. It kind of has like that Reebok Classic-esque look to it, um, so I'm definitely about it, because um, I like the Reebok Classic, and I like the runner look in general. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the shoe. Starting off with the outsole, you got this fizzle orange outsole with all these traction pods, um, which I think is real cool for that traction support. Um, you actually don't feel all these little pods once you have the sneaker on. I've tried it on and it's real comfy. You move on to the outsole here. You kind of got like this off-white, kind of like yellowing, aging outsole. Um, it's not really yellowing, it's just like an off-white. Um, and that is that rider foam cushioning that they're using. Um, real comfortable. Um, definitely love the cushioning when I put the shoe on. You move on to the upper, you got like these two little rubber rectangles here on the heel of the shoe um, in like a royal blue. You got this one on the lateral and you got one on the medial side, real nice. The suede is real nice as well. Um, it's a really nice quality suede going around the toe box and the heel. Um, and that's one of the things that I like about some of these brands is that they don't necessarily have to be a expensive uh, product for them to actually put decent materials on their sneakers. Um, Reebok, New Balance, Puma, they always, um, regardless of how expensive their shoes are, always put good materials on and that's one of the things that I've loved about these brands is that you actually get a bang for your buck um, regardless of the price point point. Um, and so you move on to the toe box you got this like nylon material going around the toe box and that fizzle orange same material going around the upper here and that black you got this pink tab with the Puma branding and then you got your Puma logo here in a white uh, leather. It's a nice tumbly white leather. Um, it's not the greatest quality, but again, um, for what you're paying, really good quality. Got the heel tab on the back, white with the black Puma logo. On the lacing system here, you got white laces. The outer trim is a black leather. And then you got that royal blue tongue with the orange puma branding and then it has that distressed um edging um that most sneakers have nowadays similar to like the off-white not a bad touch and then you got that puma branding on the insole as well um so this is just an overall great shoe guys um just kind of wanted to show you my latest pickup like i said i ended up picking these up on sale for $45 and I didn't even pay for it because I had a champs uh, gift card that I had to use so 
I got these for zero. Um, and if you guys are looking for great deals and the latest codes, coupon codes for websites, um, to get yourself a cheap pair of shoes, make sure that you're following the sneakerfirm.net on the website and on social media. Um, cause I post all live deals, um, on those platforms. Um, so always stay tuned with that. And yeah, just an overall great shoe guys. Definitely comfortable. Um, I probably would have gone half a size up if I had the choice. Um, I did buy a 10 and a half, um, which is my regular size, but they were a little snug um, around the toe box here. So um, if I were to buy another pair of these, I'd probably go with the 11, just for the extra comfort, extra room. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for these. Like always, thanks for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.